Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. The High Court this evening has technically declined to stop the planned Azimio protest scheduled for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. According to the information we received, was that through Kenya Kwanza government, a businessman called Martin Gitau, through his lawyer, Adrian Kamodo, had moved to court seeking to stop the mass protest announced by Azimio coalition leader Raila Amodo Odinga. But guess what? What Justice Lawrence Mugambi came out directing this businessman through his lawyer, Adrian Kamodo. I want to tell you, even courts are tired with this government. Because when you look at the direction that Justice Lawrence came out giving this businessman, then you want to tell me they never knew that this was a case of emergency. That they could have come out even to decide tomorrow because the demonstration is going to start Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Look, when you look at Justice Lawrence Mugami, has come out to direct that application and petition be filed in the next three days and res response within 10 days and set the hearing date for July 21 for further direction. Just imagine, then the, the, the expectation and the momentum behind this businessman going to court was that they're going to stop this demonstration that is going to happen starting Wednesday. But the, upon the direction of this 20, uh, the, the direction of Justice Lawrence Mugambi, he is saying that the hearing date is going to be date 21st, and that is going to be on Friday, if not, I'm not wrong. If the hearing is going to be on Friday, the demonstration is going to start on Wednesday. Is this a sabotage or not? Then it means that even what they are being told, that they should further document and reply the affidavit is like now this is going to be served within 10 days as we speak now 10 days to, today is monday this may be next week so upon the case that we were being told is that this businessman had come out to accuse railo dinga the former president uhuru mege kenyatta the Orange Democratic Party and the Azimio Laumoja One Kenya Coalition Party as the respondents. That is what was happening. But now, is it a kind of judiciary now showing the government that look, we are following the law, the rule of law. You cannot come out to tell us what to do. We are following the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. Even that is why you saw another judge coming out, stopping the implementation of Finance Act. And even this has been a big problem in the Ministry of Treasury from applying this Finance Act 2023-2024. So when you look at this all kind of story, even Koti Wamechoka, they are tired. Nai Kuchoka Kwao is not that they want to sabotage the law, but they are telling Kenya Kwanza government that look, you can come through the uh, you can come in court, have your cases through other individuals, so that it can be it, it can be it can be seen like uh, it is 
a common mwananchi who is coming out to accuse the Kenya Kwanza or rather the Azimio la Umoja wa Kenya coalition. And that is why they hide behind this businessman so that it can be technically been seen like it is the story of a common mwananchi coming out to reject the demonstration. But this man was just paid. Yeah, mesaidiwa pesa, haende kutini. This case is not even his. Because he's just a person, normal Kenyan, a businessman, ampeleka kesi, na mepewa lawyer, na pesa zote, ya kuakikisha kwamba, they're coming out to stop the demonstration. But all in all, one thing that you understand with this Kenya Kwanza is that they are so disparate, fighting all over their mind across the Republic of Kenya in a way that to ensure they are going to dictate everything. They never knew that this judiciary is an independent institution that you cannot command, you cannot direct them on what to say, you cannot tell them how to interpret the law, or rather, to tell you what to do. So for them, this is just a kind of a sabotage. To Kenya Kwanza, this is just a failure. So they should expect that now it is a cause of the people. And that is something, and even if the judge could have come out, if the judge could have come out to decide on this case, Mark Mawad, they could have come out to direct Kenya Kwanza through this businessman. Because I know it is it is Kenya Kwanza who presented this case in court through a businessman called Martin Gitau. Through the lawyer they provided for this businessman called Adran Kamodo so that they can fight this Azimio's mandamano. But all in all, still the law could have been applied. Because that law that this judge could have come out to interpret for Kenya Kwanza, it is the same as um, the law that we understand under Article 37 of the Constitution. You know, something that is so boring about Kenya Kwanza is that they are, they are interpreting this article correctly. But to apply it is a big problem for them. You cannot interpret Article 37 of the Constitution. At the same time, you yourself, you're going against that article. So it is a celebration to, uh, to Azimio. Even if, let me say even if, still, the Azimio is going to demonstrate Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, then they a plan again and next week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and this will be maybe a time for the judiciary to come out to decide. On this case, still mark my words. The court will come out just to tell them that, look, the constitution says this and this and this and this. So it is just a pure kind of a judiciary following the law, even if they are not uh, happy. But the truth of the matter is they must follow the rule of, of the law. So that the, 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 even the, despite of them coming out to uh, look at a way of blocking the, Ken, uh, the Azimio uh, Laumoja One Kenya coalition, they must also understand that the issue is no longer about, um, let me say, Raila Amolo Dinga, Uhuru Mege Kenyatta, ODM Party, and Azimio Laumoja One Kenya coalition, because those are the respondents that this businessman came out filing, uh, of course, this is what affidavit, affidavit is reading. The, 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 the respondent is Rael, um, Raila Odinga, I think is Raila Odinga, Uhuru Mege Kenyatta, ODM party, uh, Azimio La Umoja one. Uh, as Mula Umoja one Kenya coalition. So that is whatever the news that we are receiving. But again, I want to ask you a simple question. You want to tell me that Martha Komi does not understand that? You know, she knows that there is the judgment that this judge came out to say. Because these people always have the reference. And this reference is always intact. You cannot tell me that a judge from somewhere 
is not, cannot give a reference, cannot not have a reference um, from the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, what are thoughts? So drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing.